five games all. Well, a pity for Edberg there. Two balls that he left in that game, which just dropped in. The latter one there, slight mishit. But really, that was tentativeness on his part. So it's five all. Oh, that's a wonderful block to turn. Love 15. Girl moving at the back of the court. Yes. Yes. Bit of good fortune here for Edberg because he didn't quite centre the return and it just dropped inside the line, the smallest of margins. And that was within a whisker. Beautifully disguised second serve, almost had Edberg going the wrong way. hadn't realized it was a pretty close call but the line judge was very positive yes. well it's tough on a player when the crowd are quite as partisan as that For the second time in this game, that net cord literally half an inch making all the difference. Double fault from Ivan Yuzovic in a very undesirable moment to serve one. Advantage Ivan Yuzovic. Good return, Deuce. and this a very high ball. Edberg has plenty of time, allows Ivanisevic to commit himself. He takes a high take back, waits, and then hits a super forehand. 
advantage here, Ace number 15. Advantage of Elizabeth. What's it to be this time? It's been either brilliant or awful so far. Gabriel Elizabeth. Elizabeth leads six games to five. I think when everyone saw the prospects for the day, they realised that this was likely to be the match of the day, and so it's turned out. Yes, it has, and perhaps in the final moments, a little bit of a nightmare for Stefan Edberg. The, uh, having led 3-1 and all the way in this set, having had the held on to the break, then for it to be taken from him in the, in the, in the game that he was serving for it must be a little bit disheartening. But uh, for the first year during this championship, they do play a tie break now in the third and final set. So the task is an important one for Ed Berg to hang on to his serve and try and get into the tie break. Time. So we thought it would be close. We never imagined what has actually revealed itself, but here we are in a deciding tiebreak. Yes, I think tiebreakers one might have picked. Of course, it's the first year that Queen's has used the tiebreaker in the final set. And there have been a couple of matches already that have resulted in tiebreakers, particularly Musters was a tiebreaker in the final set against uh, Rauks. Six foot four, Goran. He needed every last inch there. Zero, that was a teasing, testing blow. Yes, that must have put strain not so much on the knee, but on the stomach muscles. Suddenly, it's just uh, gone off again. Not able to gauge how far away or f how close to him the ball is. Certainly getting tied up there. Remember, he won the first set tiebreaker 7 3, even a switch. which had guessed it. Yes, he needed to hit it cleanly, and then he certainly did there. Some doubt as whether this was going in. You can't quite see from this angle, but uh, one that he had to play. Oh. 
Three one. Ah. The double faults are now really beginning to creep in. That's his fourth of fifth of this set. Three two. Edberg. Edberg has the mini break. Yes, this is really where he wants his serve to hold up. Just the one foot fault in the match, but he doesn't tend to from this side of the court. And Goran not going to the chair, just going round the other side. Edberg towels himself down. I never want to uh, go with the conventional way. You know, he always plays uh, as quickly as Steffi Graf likes to get on with it. But he's not making Edberg play enough volleys. Not uh, hitting enough returns over the net. Four two. Look at that. Could have been Boris Becker out there. Fifth ace. Five, two, Edward. Take that. There's no joy in anything that Ivanisevic does, though, at the moment. He's battled hard, but it's been an uphill battle, and it's looked like it. 15 aces, just the same as he served yesterday. He hit it well, he hit it hard, and of course, some might say, How could he miss it? But he didn't know that Ivanisevic was going to move to Ivanisevic's left. Yes, it made it look even worse. It did, yes. Thank you. 5 4. Well, there's no roof here, and just as well, because if he wins this next point, 6-4, Edward. It would be an almighty crash. Tony Pickard really does seem to have done the trick with Stefan. Two match points. It's out. Mighty close, and even Isovic doesn't want to take it. But Edberg has won. And that's all that Ivan Isovic needed. It would a very close call, just like the match. But at the end of two hours and two minutes, Stefan Edberg has taken it. In a tie-break third set, he's through to the quarter-final. Mighty close call at that last point. I think it was just out but it might just have got a bit of the line. A terrific win for Stefan. Oh, terrific. And uh, it seems that uh, all of England celebrating. An honorary Englishman, why not? Rosetsky's out, Henman's out. He's the next best thing, I suppose. And the ball was out, definitely out. There you are, the final word from McMillan. Eurosport News next. After that, Michael Stick against David Wheaton.